Finding a primary care doctor in eastern Washington could get much more difficult. Senator Maria Cantwell estimates by 2025 there will be a shortage of 640 doctors in eastern Washington. Right now there are 17.7 primary doctors per 10,000 people. The national average is 20.2. It's an alarming trend. Cantwell says health care reform will change. KXOA 4's Andy Bishop has more on the story. You can have a job and you can have insurance, but if you don't have access to a doctor, you don't have health care. As Senator Maria Cantwell outlined how the new health care law will bring more doctors to Spokane, medical students listen closely. I think that it's very exciting that she's thinking about the future and especially thinking about continuity of care. Daniel Meza is in his first year of med school at the University of Washington. He's thinking about specializing in pediatric development. Primary care is alluring in the sense that you really get to be a part of your community. But there are many things that work against one going to primary care. Most of all, it's the money. Meza will graduate with almost $200,000 in loans. A specialist makes more money than a primary care doctor, and that's one of the reasons why there are so few. Under the new health care law starting next year, primary doctors will get a 10% bonus for five years to help offset the pay gap. The law also calls to increase residency slots available in Spokane. Right now, there are just 100 residencies versus almost 1,600 in western Washington. We need to make sure that we are training the new medical students like those that are here today so that they can continue to serve in this region. Cantwell says adding more resident slots is the foundation to attract a four-year med school to the region. So it is critical that we take action now to prevent such a severe shortage. As for Meza, he has yet to make up his mind. It's questionable. Definitely the Uni University of Washington has done a very good job of showing us that primary care physicians can be successful and can make a difference. So that's really influenced me. That was KXLY 4's Annie Bishop. Now, Washington's Attorney General Rob McKenna is joining other states in a lawsuit to try and overturn national health care reform, but Cantwell says those lawsuits will not affect when those changes she mentioned will be implemented.